there, there's something interesting um, we've done in sports is that we've decided we've decided things even when the facts are quite counter to that. Let, let me explain. Um, if I said, would you rather be a pro baseball player or pro football player in terms of the amount of money, the longevity of your career, you would overwhelmingly say what? Pro baseball player, right? You're like, you know, I know they play 162, but there's not, there's very little, you know, post-concussion syndrome. There aren't baseball players walking around who have forgotten their car keys or even parts of their life in their career. CTE is not something that baseball is investigating. And, and though you've had some debilitating injuries in baseball, right? Um, I can remember a time in which there's a certain catcher who broke his ankle in half. Right? We've eliminated the contact at home plate. And baseball players have to worry about their shoulder or their arm. But like one of the things that baseball players really enjoy is post-career, those guys are usually great golfers. They really know how to get along with a group of men because you have to 162 days. You get like 20 days off all year. So it seems, it would seem like it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. That if you have a chance to play either, to play either, you go and play baseball. We have decided that Football contracts are not guaranteed. We've decided that. I heard on Dan Patrick's show today. I've heard on other shows today. All right? Pauly Paps was like, you know, the decision, pretty simple. Football contracts aren't guaranteed. Baseball contracts are. You go and play baseball. What if I told you that those are two lies? Lies. And I don't think that Pauly knew he was lying. I think he's just repeating something that's been said so many times that you're like, yeah, it's like Aaron Rodgers doesn't like Mike McCarthy. I don't know if Aaron Rodgers doesn't like Mike McCarthy anymore. He might just be done, just needs something new. Maybe it's his body language, but it's been repeated so many times that now it's like Aaron Rodgers doesn't like Mike McCarthy. Maybe, maybe they just underperformed. Maybe he didn't like the change at general manager. Maybe he didn't like the change. Alex Van Pelt not being there is just, Maybe if Mike McCarthy didn't like Aaron Rodgers. Possibility. I don't like data information either. Right? This, me personally, rather for athletes, guys change, guys evolve. Same thing happens with contracts. I pulled this up, 2017. First pick overall in the draft. Miles Garrett. $30.4 million. Do you know how much of that is guaranteed? Want to take a guess? Every single penny. Matter of fact, even if you go all the way down to Ryan Ramchick, who is the last pick of the first round, part of the offensive line, which has been rebuilt and done a very good job in New Orleans, $8.9 million, $4.6 million signing bonus. Do you know how much of that is guaranteed? Every single penny. Every one. Now, the opposite is, well, you know, there aren't any $250, $300 million contracts. You're right. If you can promise me that Kyler Murray is going to become Albert Pujols, Bryce Harper, or if he's going to pitch like, uh, like, you know, pick, pick Clayton Kershaw, Max Scherzer. Sure. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. The idea that uh, it's just an easy decision. One's got guaranteed contracts, the other doesn't. Does anybody actually do any research into how baseball contracts are written? Aaron Judge, pretty good player. Been a pretty good player for a couple years now, two years with the with, with the New York Yankees. Want to take a guess how much he makes? $650,000. That's how much he's contracted to make. It's his sixth year of playing professional baseball after going to college at Fresno State. Now, eventually, Aaron Judge is going to sign a red ridiculous deal but but baseball it is the long game it is the long game we all look at these le- like left-handed rotund closers 
middle relievers and we're like, man, that's the gig right there. He's 42 years old. He's still coming in and throwing out of the pen. And look, I have a son. He's left-handed. I call him my 401k. Hey, kiddo. How's my 401k feeling today, huh? Huh? Let's go out and throw some in the backyard. I know parents that have literally, not figuratively, tied their kid's hand behind their back to make them left-handed with the thought that they, too, could be their 401k. We're sick like that as parents. But here's the thing. Now, I don't know if Kyler Murray becomes a first-round draft pick. I can tell you that my, my personal view of Kyler Murray and some of it is jaded by how he struggled after a certain amount of time at Texas A&M. And I've watched him a lot at Oklahoma. I just, I think he's tiny. He's not like, Baker Mayfield is small. Kyler Murray is tiny. There's just a difference there. I can't really express it. Now, Baker Mayfield is athletic. Kyler Murray is just fast. But tiny. I mean, really tiny. But we're also watching the evolution of the NFL where college offenses are becoming the rage. And though athletic quarterbacks haven't shown to have a uh, long-term success, guys that are athletic that can throw in and out of the pocket like a Russell Wilson and he's undersized. Has. Now I don't think he's Russell Wilson. He's not as big. He's not as sturdy. I don't think that he reads a defense as well, but he's not a dummy, right? He played his dad was a high school coach. Very sick, never lost a game in high school. Got a chance to compete for a national championship. He's carried Oklahoma. I I talked to a GM in the National Football League last night. I was like, no way. He's tiny. Why do people say, like, look, he runs like Mike Vick, and he's he's little but effective like like Doug Flutie. And while Doug Flutie wasn't a first-round draft pick and it took him going to Canada and fighting, Doug Flutie now probably works in this NFL. Probably does. Case Keenum does. And Kyler Murray's better than Case Keenum and slightly smaller and way more athletic, with a better arm. Same offense, by the way, in college. And so the the thought is, ah, locked up since Kyler Murray signed a deal, I think it's $5 million guaranteed, which he's overpaid for. He only really had one good year as a college baseball player. Like, he's not, this is not a guy who was a prodigy as a baseball player who also played quarterback. That's not who he was. And it doesn't mean that he wouldn't make in baseball. I'm just telling you it's a harder decision if you actually look at the idea that he could play quarterback, which is a position of longevity, right? You're like, well, football careers don't last long. He's not playing wide receiver. He's not playing tight end. He's not playing left guard. He'd be playing quarterback. Philip Rivers, who raised a pregnant woman, his wife, and came in third, hey, is a complete non-athlete. He just started his 204th consecutive game. So you can start for a, the only reason Eli Manning lost his starting streak is because he sucked. You can start forever at quarterback. You can't touch these guys. If you learn to stay in the pocket, it's hard because he's little and he's so athletic. But that's not the point. The point is that we started with the premise and the thought in our mind that football or baseball, easy call, baseball. Baseball is the easiest to get drafted. You know what else it is? The hardest to make it. And then even when you make it, you got to make it for four years before you see real money. Whereas in the NFL... Your entire contract, that second deal you sign, would be partially guaranteed. But one, he's playing quarterback, which is the most, the highest paid of the positions. Two, if he's a first-round draft pick, the money is at least, the last pick of the first round is at least double what he's making in baseball, and it is 100% guaranteed. But if you walk down the street and you're like, baseball or football, people are like, easy call. Baseball. Once you make it, you're in baseball forever. Hey, do you know how hard it is to make it? Do you have any idea how hard it is to make it? You start out in rookie ball, okay? Then you go to A, high A, double A, maybe triple A. And even when you get up there, it's like, hey, he can hit big 12 pitching. That's cool. Explosive stuff in the major leagues. I mean, think about those bats that were scared of curveballs that uh, that they had in, in Major League. They had hats for those bats. We always think easier to make it in baseball. It's not. We always think all those contracts are guaranteed in baseball. Truth is, they're not, and they're a lot less than you actually think they are. 
And we always think that football has a shorter lifespan. It doesn't positionally and that the contracts aren't guaranteed. That's not true. Even those contracts that have those ridiculous numbers where you have non-guaranteed money, the guaranteed money is pretty substantial. It's not like it's not guaranteed at all. All right. Like Blake Bortles, has he been a good quarterback? Has Blake Bortles been a good quarterback? He was okay for one season. He's going to make $17 million next year. Right? This, uh, oh, walk away from football. Okay. Kid's pretty good. The sport is coming around to his style of playing the position. I- I'd probably pay- play baseball too, but the decision is more difficult than you think it is. Here is Kyler Murray. Earlier today, on the Rich Eisen show. Right now, my uh, my decision is to go play baseball. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Like I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this week. Uh, this is like I said, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, and yeah, I'm just having fun with it. Yeah, right now, my decision is to play baseball. Right now, I'm taking it one day at a time. Right now, I'm just enjoying about myself. What about when an NFL team says, "Hey, dude"? What if he made you a first-round pick where you get four years of guaranteed money and a chance to make it in the NFL? And you play baseball in the offseason. Oh, that's different then than right now.